Thank you, Eric, and uh, hi, everyone. We at Husqvarna, we want to be more than just a product supplier. We aim to be a, a true partner, solutions partner to our customer. Uh, we have sold uh, around two and a half million robotic lawnmowers since the start. We have hundreds of thousands of connected robots as well as handheld products. Uh, we, we sit with insights um, and know-how technology uh, that I'm convinced can help our customers with some of their key needs. Needs related both to sustainability, but also to cost and, and other needs. We have done that uh, with a portfolio aimed at smaller to medium size uh, areas. But in the last few years, we have invested heavily in a big expansion of our portfolio. And through the next few minutes, I will uh, take you through a sneak peek view of this new development. Let's start with a short movie. In the beginning, we all start small, but we grow, we evolve, and our world becomes bigger, much bigger. We develop new skills to manage larger and larger spaces, systematically, but flexible enough to allow for change. We innovate and we adapt because the world never stops growing or changing, and neither do we. Welcome to the future of commercial turf care. Introducing Husqvarna Siora. Now that was pretty cool, huh? Um, I will take you through a short uh, sneak peek. As I said, we will look at the characteristics of this product. Um, what technologies do we have inside? What benefits will they deliver towards the customer? A few words about who we intended to be the, the uh, target for this product and something about their needs. I have summarized uh, the product into five main highlights. Uh, so we will go quickly through those. The first one is about the product not being just a lawnmower. This is a system. Uh, this is a modular, highly versatile, multi-tool product that we are launching. Large area, second point. Our top performer today, the Automore 550, can maintain an area up to around 5,000 square meters. If allowed to operate 24-7, Siora can do 10 times this at least. And that equates to more than seven uh, soccer pitches. And 50,000 square meters in acres is about 12 and a half. Third point, EPOS technology. Last year, around this time, we launched the EPOS technology. It's a positioning technology that enables us to remove the boundary wires and replace them with virtual boundaries as a means of defining the work area of the product. Uh, the EPOS technology is satellite based. It delivers a precision of down to two to three centimeters. Um, you install the product instead of putting boundary wires in the ground. Uh, you run the mower around the periphery of the area through a remote control app uh, and in this way you define the work area. And this delivers a, a whole range of benefits and I've put them into three main buckets. The first one is related to the reliability. Since there are no wires in the ground that can break, you have a great advantage. This also allows our customers to do tasks that actually involves working in the ground like aeration that you see in this picture. Second bucket is related to flexibility. It is really easy to change the installation. You go into your app and you can move the boundary a meter here or a meter there. It also makes it possible to make stay out zones very easily. If you perform construction work somewhere in your install or you for any other reason want to, to save uh, an area, it's very easy to create these type of stay out zones. The last bucket is related to efficiency. This uh, positioning technology allows us uh, to cut in systematic fashion, not only random as previously. Through running in parallel paths, as you see in this image, uh, of course you increase uh, the capacity of the product uh, a great deal. Four is related to uh, control. How do you control a product where you have no operator? Nobody sits on the product, nobody walks behind it. How do you know what it's doing? Well, you do that through our digital tools, the tools that Jonas talked about before, Husqvarna Fleet Services. That enables full control from a remote location. Last but not least, is also related to durability and, and reliability of the product. This is a completely new platform and from scratch we decided to focus on, uh, on these type of, of characteristics. 
So both looking at the electronic systems as well as the mechanical systems, they have been designed with this as a key uh, target. Uh, for instance, the, the ceiling level in the product is very high and that combined with very smooth surfaces below the product enables our customers to host wash the product uh, for easy maintenance and to keep it clean. So who are our customers? We are mainly targeting these three groups that you see here, sports, a large area facility, uh, as well as golf. And what do these guys struggle with? They struggle with, uh, with uh, challenges related to labor, scarcity of labor, how do I even find people, uh, cost of labor, management of labor, tough sustainability targets, of course, tough to reach and becoming even tougher. And of course, these guys also value a perfectly cut lawn, uh, maybe more than the average uh, customer out there. Isn't it great then that we can deliver towards many of these needs uh, with our products? Three of my bullets here, uh, benefit bullets, are related to labor. Uh, if you have no operator, of course, you have lower costs, you have easier management, uh, and you have fewer accidents. Uh, lawn quality, because we have a razor sharp blade, not too different from what we have had in Automower for many years. And that is giving a very clean cut. And since we cut frequently, of course, the lawn will become denser, greener, look really good. Sustainability, of course, that's in our DNA. We are battery powered, we have zero emissions, low weight in the product, low power needed, um, zero emissions. Uh, on top of that, of course, also less um, fertilizer needed uh, and lower noise levels from this product. What about biodiversity? Why is that up there with the others? Well, it's, it's again one of these EPOS benefits. You can easily uh, uh, mark out an area where you will allow the grass to grow taller. So this gives you a good flexibility to create a more diverse uh, uh, environment in your, throughout your site by having these type of islands with different cutting heights. So my last slide is, is um, looking at the relationship between Seora and Automower. What is the difference really? And Automower is focusing on mower only and it's focusing also on small to medium size areas, whereas Seora is a little bit more than lawn mowing. It expands into a few adjacent job types and it is also intended for larger areas than the previous Automower. With that, then back to you, Eric.